All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Time to Talk, where we talk about watches and everything related, which possibly could be everything in the world. I am Jing Fung, the wrist bone, and joining me today is my co-host Max, also known as Wrist Pectable. How are you? How are you today, Hi. man? Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for having me. Cool, 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 cool. I'm excited today. Uh, we are talking about uh, since it's Chinese New Year is coming up. Yeah, yeah, on the twelfth of February. Yeah. So, so today, I think I think we should wish our listeners um, <laughs> uh, an advance happy Chinese New Year. Yeah. Hope you get money. Hope you get rich. <laughs> yeah, hope you get rich. All right. Or or actually. Lunar calen- Lunar New Year, uh, if we want to be more inclusive. But yeah. yeah. We all know the Chinese owns the moon anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> or actually, it could be Omega. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Fucking yeah. Omega. All right. Omega. Let's do a wristwatch check. Wristwatch check, man. What are you wearing today? I am wearing a Parnese Show the camera, watch. Man. Oh, right here. Oh, not this camera. Show it to the other camera. <laughs> yeah so it's a 47 millimeter pilot's watch uh i got it quite a long time ago like about four five years ago when um i was just having fun with watches um i just got it for fun and i think it looks pretty cool it still looks pretty good now to me and uh, i don't wear it anymore but uh for the benefit of the show um I just want to wear it just to 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 signify. I I would say the uh, how how unpopular Chinese watches are in 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 amongst among among watch collectors, and uh, how <clears throat> underrated. I would say they are really really underrated, and how overlooked they are sometimes. Hmm. You know what I think it's. Uh, I think with Chinese watches. Yeah. Uh they they do production really well. <clears throat> they do production yeah. really well, right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. The production is really well, but uh in terms of quality, in terms of finishing, uh they're just not quite there yet. Yeah. I th- I think they can, but the the thing with Chinese can, watches, right? The, the thing with Chinese watches uh is they they are up there in production. Like they with production, they can do fucking everything, right? They they built everything for the world, right? Yeah. But what they are behind on is their marketing, the the name of Chinese, because because what they what they did was they they dropped down their their currency. I'm not I'm not a history. I don't know a lot about history, but this is the basics. I think that what I do know is what I think is they what they did is they dropped down their currency because they were quite low. And yeah. economic status in the world, so they made their services super cheap and everything to boost up their sales. Their just business coming in to China, yeah, right. Yeah. So what what they have mastered is production and uh, and cheap production for everything in the world, right? Like every everyone comes yeah. everyone goes to china to make things so they're very yeah, good at yeah, making things basically the world's factory yeah, yeah but because they make everything they also they mostly also make the the cheap stuff as well the the non high quality stuff in the world right mm. Mm. so what they have been, their name has been associated with bad quality products when in fact in actuality, they produce everything. They produce from the l- low quality stuff to the high quality stuff. Yeah. Right. It's just that their name is behind, and the problem with that is, they want to make money, right? Like it's it's hard to it's hard to compete with, let's say, a Swiss, the Swiss companies. Oh, definitely. Right. When definitely. they their name yeah. has been established for so long for quality timepieces right yeah so i yeah. think with the chinese right now we, we'll come to we'll, we'll be talking about their watches in a bit but they are they're trying right but they, they're forced to do a lot of these 
uh, other things as well. And I guess their morals aren't, their ethics aren't super good. Lah, I think with regards to uh, I think intellectual property. <laughs> what the Chinese watch industry needs, right, uh-huh. is direction. Direction? Direction in terms of uh, <clears throat> um, how to produce quality timepieces, uh-huh. number one. Number two, how to, you know, direction in terms of design. Yeah. It's like every single time when you see a Chinese watch, you know it's a Chinese watch. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right? So it, they, they don't have that, that, that sort of clear direction on where how they should design it, how the watches, how how to make their watches more sellable, how to make their watches look more appealing. They don't have that direction as of yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've not, they've not built on that. They've not built that skill yeah, yet, right? Exactly. They've not built yes. on aesthetics. Yeah, they, it's something they, like what Seiko is doing, you know, they're so cut off from the, the, the world. Yeah. They're so cut off from the Swiss watch industry that they create, sometimes they create designs that are quite, I would say questionable. I think Seiko uh, is definitely a lot, uh, a lot more in a way than Chinese. The Chinese watches, like Se- Seiko, has done a lot more to further yeah. their design languages. Yeah, but but yeah. you know, if you are looking at some um, the uh, some some models of the Grand Seiko, for example, yeah, yeah. You, sometimes you can see like the dials are so disproportionate. You know, like why would you even do something like that? Why would you even design a knob like that? Why would you design a pusher like that? Like. Uh, I mean, it, it, it raises questions, uh, especially, I mean, I, I, when I look at those designs, I'm like, why? I ask myself, like, I, ask, I'll, I will ask them, like, why? why? Why would you even think about that? Why would you even design something like that such, of, of such monstrosity? But in fact, their watchmakers are, and, and, and the, their, you know, probably their design team is so cut off from, you know, the, the Swiss, probably cut off by the, so... So it's so alienated from the Swiss watch industry that they just stick to their own designs uh, and they stick to their to their own philosophy, their own <clears throat> their own concepts. And I think that sort of translate to what the Chinese is doing as well. Actually, I mean, yeah, I, I, they, I think it's it's actually a bit different. Like the opposite. The, the 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 Japanese they have their own sense of aesthetics, right? Yeah. The Chinese have no sense of aesthetics. <laughs> like, like I think they're slowly building it up right now, but what they've been doing is they've just been taking, oh, okay, people like this will make this because that's that's basically what they've been doing everywhere, not just yeah. with watches, right? People come to yeah. them, hey, build this for me. So what they do know, what they know how to do is, okay, I, I, I know how to make things. You want, this, you want things like this? I'll make things like this. You want things like this? Yeah. I'll make things like this. But they don't really understand how to make the design themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're right, you're right. It's either they make a really, really bad design of themselves or they copy blatantly from the yeah, Swiss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, I, yeah, I think that, that, that actually says a lot about how different they are from the Japanese. Yeah. From Seiko. Yeah. You know? I think they have a long it's way to either, go with design, man. They have a long way to go. Yeah. They have a long way to I go. I think with, production with... on production side, yeah. they're on the right track. Yeah. You know, they actually they they're actually innovating by tenfold, you know. It's like come on, they're making tourbillons. <laughs> like Seagull. Like the, the watch company Seagull. Yeah. I they're wouldn't say it's tourbillons. innovating. I, I think they are simplifying or or or, or making No, it's like it's like it's like, you know, giving the middle finger to the Swiss. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. you can make a tourbillon for six figures. I can make it for one thousand. It's like is that 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 show? Remember that show about the magicians breaking the magician magician's code on AXN last time on Astro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like yeah, you, you you have all these magicians last time. You know, they're like oh, magician secrets. Magicians don't reveal. Yeah, but when you find out what that. the secret really is, yeah, it's like what really? Yeah, and then this show comes out and just like ah, oh, fuck you, everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone can yeah. do it. This is easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so the Chinese sort of like breaks that 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 mystic the mysticism of the Swiss. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that know? about them, man. That that's yeah. that's why I I like about a, a lot about them. And and I mean, if you look back, uh, 30, 40, 50 years ago, made in Japan was deemed equally, uh, was deemed yeah. as an equal to made in China. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I wouldn't be surprised if if let's say in five, ten years time. China would be like the made in Japan today. Yeah. yeah you know? Yeah. So 
they're on the right track. Definitely on the right track. And uh, and I think a good company to 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 look up to. Um, I oh think wait, hold on, hold on. Before we get that, uh, I'm wristwatch check for me is I'm wearing a Sega Design watch. This is a Chinese watch as well, but they they. I think it looks pretty good for a Chinese watch. The reason for that is actually they hired some European designer. To, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, really? it's a Chinese brand, but I think it's it's a Xiao, it's by Xiaomi actually, if I'm not mistaken. Xiaomi. Yeah, and they hired a European designer to design them this watch. So, uh, do they make the movements in house, or is it a seagull movement? Uh, it's a seagull movement. They 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 make it in house. Ah, there yeah. we go. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. It's pretty that's cool nice, because right? it's it's not, it's not your usual skeleton. The the cheap skeletons that from before this, yeah. what they were doing was just they, they took a regular movement and <laughs> they I don't know they they the cut out the dial and like it's just an you, you see the ugly movement from the from a non existent dial. You see the, would, the would you myself? Would you like it more if it's uh, the finishing is a little better? This one's actually pretty good because they didn't try to do any of the polishing and whatnot. They didn't copy all the, uh, what do you call it? The the Geneva stripes and whatnot. They they didn't do all that. Right. They they went straight up. They they we know everyone knows that they're not hand finishing their watches right now, right? Not not something this cheap. Yeah. Right. So, we know it's machine machine finish, and they just embrace that. So what they did was they. Uh, let me show you. Can you see this? Yeah. So they. I think they they just spray painted the whole thing. They 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 powder coated. Spray the, painted? Are you sure? Yeah, it's, it's not PVD coated. It looks like PVD. PVD. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 coated uh, You know, it's yeah. It's. It's it's just black. It's, the whole thing is just gray. It's like a gunmetal gray on the, on the body, and it's just milled throughout. It's not hand cut or anything. I don't think they even try to advertise it like that, you know. So, uh, I like it because it's unapologetic. You know, it's it's being proud of what they are. Mm. You know, it's yeah, it's a cheap watch, but it's nice. It's a good cheap. Yeah, it looks nice. You know, yeah. because it's not trying to be something else. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, Sega design. Yeah. yeah, you wanted to talk about Seagull. Yeah, Seagull. Yeah. So let me bring up the page. I, I think I think when you look at the Chinese watch industry, uh, um, the first brand that, uh, if you're into the watch, you know, game, you're into the watch industry, like, like very for quite some time, you probably have heard of Seagull. Yeah, as a it's it's sort of the um, to me. I mean, in my from my perspective, Seagull is like the flagship watch manufacturer, watch maker, watch company from China. I mean, and everything else is secondary. Yeah, it's their biggest Even, factory, right? It's the biggest factory. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, it's the biggest watch they started, brand. If I'm not mistaken, they started in 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 Tianjin. Hmm. They started in Tianjin in in 1955. Uh, making watches for the Chinese, you know, the Chinese government, uh, under the Chinese government, and and uh, and they became a national company, and it's recognized by the Chinese government, and they manufacture watches for the the the, the Red Army, the Chinese Army. <clears throat> so uh, they have quite a, a, a long history, but today, when you look at it. Um, I think the only iconic watch is the Seagull 1963. The only that, iconic watch? Yeah. Yeah, no one really talks about the other watches, right? Yeah, no one really talks about the other watches. They only talk about the Seagull 1963, which is a very, very um, popular Yeah, it's the one right here. It's the one right here in their main page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, maybe if you can, you can pull up the, the, uh, the watch, if, if you go to watches... You can actually pull it up. All right. Let's yeah, your watches. There. It's on the, the second one. Yeah, there we go. Sold out. Second one, yeah. Oh, wow. Sold out, man. That's how popular it is. Yeah, but but you can definitely find it on AliExpress or other uh, online yeah, shops. Yeah, speaking of, 
uh, they are actually fakes of these watches, man. <laughs> it's it's incredible, it's, man. It's incredible. Yeah, like, yeah. It's they, fake, dude. They have not, fakes of these watches. Like the, the Chinese making the fakes of the Chinese. The, you know? the, the Swiss and all these other, other people who make watches, they think, you know, yeah. Chinese are like, oh, these fuckers are stealing from us, the Swiss, or stealing yeah. from Japanese, right? Yeah. No, they're stealing yeah. from fucking everyone. They're not safe yeah, from themselves. Safe from everyone, <laughs> yeah, they can't even save themselves. They're not safe from yeah. themselves. So, like this cigar, and, and, this, and, this, this cigar design, yeah. they they are coming. They they are producing I mean, the homages of this, of the cigar design watch. What for real? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know yeah, exactly. So. What you find on AliExpress with with regard to the Seagull 1963, yeah. it's definitely a fake or a replica. But what, really? come to think definitely. of it, yeah, yeah, they have fakes of Seagull 1963 on AliExpress. And they come in panda dials, they come in like blue, uh, um, dark blue dials with, with, with white sub dials, like different, different colorways. I'm serious. Go, go and look it up. Go and look it up. You should have known by Seagull themselves? Not that, not the way I see it. I mean... I don't think so. Right. I actually have uh, I have it lined up for later as well, like one, one of the chronographs that is by Seagull. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Well, we'll, but we'll it's talk not, about it later on. But it's not the 1963? It's not. It's not. It's not this design, but it's similar. It's using the same chronograph, but it's it's got Chinese design language, but it looks ah, good. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much the uh, I think the flagship piece of uh, the Seagull uh, watch company from China, and uh, it's 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 going around. I mean, um, watch collectors love it. I've I've met people who 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 wore it before, who had who 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 love the watch, and love what the watch stands for. You know, uh, it's a very very it's a solid chronograph. Yeah, with a. Um, Pretty good quality. I've I've seen one in person before, and uh, I held it. I was like, "Wow, okay, this is pretty cool." So, uh, Seagull 1963. You know, if you don't, if you don't, um, if you haven't heard about it, I would urge you to go and check it out. It's very very interesting. One of those interesting watches. It's it's pretty where... popular. It's pretty famous, actually. This watch. Yeah, yeah, it I, is. I even like the among, design. Even, even among like serious watch collectors, this watch is like up there. Yeah. The the watch itself, I don't think the design is great, right? But it does the job. It it looks the part, you know. You you think yeah. oh, okay, an, a vintage Chinese watch is exactly what is this? Yeah. You know, it's got Chinese words on it. You yeah. Know, you don't have. Yeah. I I fucking hate the seagull logo and name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. The the one one of the things that that I think is going to be recurring is. The Chinese come up with terrible names for their watch brands. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> terrible Dude. names and logos. Uh, I I I can't even fathom man. like yeah. why would you even need? Oh uh, yeah, another. I mean, speaking and, of directions, we were talking about the, the directions that the the Chinese uh, watch companies should take. It's also naming a uh, giving good names <laughs> for their for their watches. <laughs> yeah, I think they have so, a problem there, uh, But but I I think with this, you know, you get the. Seagull is one of the uh, one of those companies that have a terrible name and logo. So with this 1963 watch, what I like is they they didn't put they, Seagull they didn't, on it. They didn't, they didn't put Seagull on it. <laughs> yeah, they just yeah, they just put a star. The, uh, they're they're made for the Chinese military. Yeah, they're yeah made yeah. for the Chinese air force. Right, right, yeah. Right, right. So it's it's cool in that sense that you get that kind of backstory. I mean, the Swiss is always about backstories. Yeah. So you know, Seagull nineteen sixty three. There we go. That's the backstory of this watch. Uh, government issued uh, um, order to uh, to Seagull to manufacture watches for the Air Force, the Chinese the Chinese Army. So um, it's cool in that sense. You know, like you're wearing something that the uh, the Chinese Army. I mean, the soldiers actually use this they actually yeah. utilize this you know so it's cool in that sense so I think that's why the Seagull 1963 is really popular and uh, was sort of revered by by watch collectors from all levels Even I, I don't mind it but I wouldn't buy it myself but I, 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 I see the appeal I hear the movement is actually pretty good uh, they, yeah it's solid it's they solid. they use a column gr- column wheel chronograph 
mechanism. Yeah. Which is supposedly uh, uh, only the higher end Swiss watches, Swiss chronographs use. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they they base their movement off the uh, of a Swiss. Yeah. Uh, the uh, it's based on the Venus watch caliber one seventy five. All oh, right, right, right. Yeah, which which was used in uh, you know Minerva, the 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 watch brand Minerva. Yeah, yeah. It's that Venus watch caliber. The caliber one seventy five was used in that watch, and um, Seagull's movement, the, this chronograph movement, is based on that, because the Swiss actually sold it off right, to the Chinese. Right, right. Yeah, so. So uh, they have changed it aesthetically, but largely the uh, construction of the movement is the same. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it's something like what Polyot did with some of their chronographs, basing their chronographs on the Belju seven seven fifty. So they are. It's basically what Polyot did. They they took some 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 blueprints from the Swiss. They built their movement based on that. And you just put it in their watches. Basically, it's what we were talking about. Like the Chinese copy the... Right? They, exactly. They, they, they took exactly. A des- someone else's design and they, they started making it themselves. But they didn't, they didn't take the design. Though. It was sold to them. So technically... All oh, right. Right. Yeah. So it's sold off by Minerva... Uh, I mean, by Venus. Right. right. So, yeah, yeah. So they are, they are, they are different, different uh, um, movement manufacturers. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was ETA, ETA. Yeah. Right. Uh, Venus, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, Lamania. Hmm. Yeah, these are the few uh, watch movement makers, and uh, Venus actually sold that to the Chinese. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Right. So. And then they started producing it themselves, huh? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So. It's cool, man. Yeah. So. Um, that's the backstory. That's pretty much the backstory of 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 the uh, Seagull nineteen sixty three. By um, by the Chinese. Yeah, but they also make a lot of other watches as well. Right? Yeah, but I wouldn't say it's appealing. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at the designs here, and I don't know, nothing really stands out. You know, like yeah, they 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 all look like what Franken watches. Like yeah, yeah, like they they look like they they took ideas of of design design ideas mm-hmm. from other manufacturers or other brands and just yeah. piece them together. Yeah. Yeah. They should totally come up with their own design. And, you know, all they have to do is just have a good direction design that speaks for the Chinese. And I think they'll be on the right track, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, so, yeah. you know, they they just want to, okay, people like this, you know, we create this. They, they, they're they not taking risks. Yeah, they're they not. not taking risks. They're not. And yeah. uh, while we're on the topic of seagull, uh, I also want to talk about the, the the stigma against Chinese watches. Okay. And why people don't really like them. I I kind of understand why some people might 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 hate the 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 Chinese design or uh, and and the 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 Chinese watchmaking in general. It's because uh, number one, I would say like. Um, the quality is not there in terms of manufacturing. I mean, I I own a uh, I own this Parnis, and uh, at times where um, there's no soul, there's the, no the quality soul? is not that. Yeah, there's no soul. You know, when when you wind a watch, um, especially a Swiss watch or a good a watch of good quality like Seiko Prestige or anything like that, it's smooth. You know. But when you wind this watch, it's like you can feel like there's this rubber gasket rubbing against the metal. So you can feel that, you know. So in terms of build quality, I wouldn't say that the Chinese have it. Right. And but, I think that's why... But here's are... the thing, though. You bought that watch for, what, 50 USD? Yeah. What yeah. kind of quality about do you 50. expect from 50 USD? <laughs> you, uh... get a, you get a fully automatic movement uh movement right no no it's it's uh manual manual uh, manual, manual movement mom. mechanical yeah. movement was that sapphire yeah. glass sapphire crystal i think so they say yeah. it is but yeah, sapphire I, crystal a huge stainless steel case yeah. and it's it's machine finish but still you have your you know what do you want to call it full geneva stripes 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's still yeah. finished. You know, it's not just plain metal. Yeah. So you're still getting a lot for what you're paying for, though. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But uh, it leaves more to be desired. You know, it yeah, leaves more yeah. to be desired. Yeah. If, think... if if the Chinese could actually buck up on their the 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 finishing, yeah. the quality. Yeah. Dude. They are, they will, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they, they take on they take on the uh, the Swiss industry. You know? Yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't be surprised if they take over the Swiss industry. If they can provide value with quality, with finishing, they they'll be they'll be they'll be kings. Yeah, I think That's it'll be all before that happens because I I think they'll have to start innovating and that's something that isn't they're not uh, they're not evolved to do it they, they're not used to doing innovation for these kind of things they're used to yeah. producing you know they yeah, produce just the world, making you know? yeah for just designing making. and innovating I think they're getting there I mean like with their their phones and everything the, the electronics and everything they are starting yeah. to innovate right with Huawei and the technology that they're coming up with yeah. Right. They are actually on par with uh the Western manufacturers, the West Western designers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. With you can see that five G and everything. So yeah. maybe 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 we'll have the the same thing, you know, like the the phone boom. The the what what do you want to call it? I don't I don't know what it's called, but the the boom the success that Huawei has garnered for Chinese, yeah. for the Chinese, yeah. maybe that might start to happen for watches, for watches in the future, like what you said. But I guess only time will tell. Yeah, yeah. Right? Someone would have to yeah. start innovating for that to happen. Though. But I would say that they are on the right track. Maybe they're on the right maybe. track. Maybe it's just a matter of they time. have the means. Yeah. 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 Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, I saw a um, a video on YouTube with regards to Seagull, and they showed the uh, the the factory. Dude, the factories are state of the art, man. Right. They have proper, proper trained wa- trained watchmakers uh, who assemble all these watches. They have the proper machinery to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're pretty much a full fledged com- watch company. Yeah. But I wouldn't expect like uh, uh, at first at first glance when when I heard about Sega, I didn't really expect them to have. A, uh, a full-fledged company and with with actually trained watchmakers making their watches for them. Until I actually saw this video, I'm like, wow, these guys are really really serious and they innovate on a a, a microscopic level. Like they use microscopes to look at like jewels, like how to make jewels, how to make certain gears, like like balance wheel to make sure that everything is like you know perfect. They have like proper machinery to do all these things. Mm. And it, like you say, you know, um, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time until they actually break out of that, you know, yeah. you know, just making watches for fun. Or not for fun, just making watches for the sake of making them. Okay, look, look at this watch actually, right here. Look at this watch yeah. right here. Like uh, this seagull rhinestone the, flower. The Audemars Piguet millinery. <laughs> See, they... They have a very basic understanding of what people want. They have a very surface understanding of peop- what, what people want. You know, they, they see, oh, you know, diamonds, or people want diamonds. They see, you know, watch. <clears throat> they, they see engraving on the, on the movement. Oh, people want that. They want blue hands. We'll give them blue hands. But what they don't understand is the story that the, the other manufacturers, you know, uh, put behind all these things. Like the blue yeah. hands... It's not just the hands being blue in color, right? It's, it's the uh, it's the work that's involved to make them blue, right? The yeah, heat bluing the metal instead yeah. of dyeing the metal blue, right? Putting ink on the metal, like like you see right here, and yeah. the engraving. You know, it's when you look at Swiss watches, they're all about you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Engra- is that is that metal? Weird. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say. It could be. It could be. Or it could be printing, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them and make it a printing. Uh. 
you know. Uh, but yeah, I was talking about the engraving. The yeah. Swiss make put a lot of effort to make people make sure people know, you know. Yeah. Uh, this is hand engraved. There's a lot of human effort put into this, right? Uh, pe- pe- people that have you know work for years to gain the skill to engrave and we got that person to engrave the watch for you right yeah but the chinese look at it from the surface and they see oh, okay people want engraving we'll fucking machine engrave this shit right <laughs> without the whole story behind it yeah yeah so that, that i guess maybe that's a soul that you're talking about that, that's missing right yeah yeah that's the soul man that's that's it's the it's something that can't be explained it's, when you wear it, it it's the effort it, that's put into the watch right like, yeah it's yeah. the effort the little little things yeah that would give the watch soul but yeah. when I look at seagull and I look at Chinese watches they just don't give yeah. me that you know, I just, yeah. I'm just not feeling it yeah and yeah. then so but so then we have yeah so so what but then we have uh, um, seagull actually providing movements to independent watchmakers. Right. Yeah. All right. So, so you know, in addition to the uh, this 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 stigma against Chinese watches, I I don't see what the big deal is because I think that Seagull is very innovative. They're very innovative. They're very forward thinking, and they. In what sense? Sorry. In what sense? Forward thinking has in like has in has in like they want their movements to be known. They want their movements to be, to be, to be, to be used by other watch manufacturers. A good example would be uh, Baltic watches. Now, I'm sure some of you um, who are listening have have may or may not have heard about Baltic watches. It's a French brand. It's a. Uh, it's a watch company that actually manufactures pretty. Good looking watches. Yeah, you can see. That's their GMT, they have their they have their chronographs, they have their their diver's watch. But I want to talk about the Bicom pack. If you if you can if you can pull it up, yeah. The movement that's used is a Seagull ST one nine oh one. You know? Right. It's a chronograph, it's Seagull's chronograph movement. It shows, it's a testament to how good the Seagull could actually manufacture their chronograph movements. You know? And it's in Baltic. This right, watch. Right, right. And they're charging it five hundred and forty euros for it. Yeah, it's how, the come, design how come yours thing, is you know? six hundred and forty nine? Oh okay. Anyways, yeah. So five hundred and forty euros, like five hundred, six hundred euros for a watch with a seagull movement. And you know, and Sega is getting a, a, a stigma that's you know of low quality. But we have watch companies like Baltic using movements like that. Yeah, they know how to so tell a story. Should... You know, they know how to market their shit. Yeah, it's all about marketing and story. You know, it's not about substance. So it shows how well made the Seagull movements are. You know that they are being used by watch companies such as Baltic. Another watch company that I would like to, to, to talk about is Mr. Jones Watches. Oh, is that by... Do they, oh, they use Chinese movements? Yeah. Now, if you go and look at the Last Laugh Tattoo, the movement is actually a... Uh, hold on. Let me just look at the technicality. The movement is actually a, a seagull movement. Right. Mr. Jones watches. I have it up here. Yeah. You go to the last laugh or... Oh, but they all any use, they, they use quartz mostly, right? S- some. Some of them uses quartz. Now, if you go to, uh, to oh, all right. watches, there mechanical. Mechanical. Uh, just pick one. Just pick one. Uh, anyone? The last laugh, yeah. I like this one. You have this one. Right. Yeah, I do. I do have that. Love the watch. I'm a big fan of it. I'm 38, big fan of the design. 38 millimeters, 38 millimeters, super, super beautiful. Now, if you look down, if you scroll down to the details, you can see that their movement, the, me- the mechanism is actually ST1721, the 20 jewel automatic mechanical. Mm. So, it's a movement manufactured by 
seagulls themselves. And it just shows, you know, how well made their movements are to, to garner the attention of watch companies like these and to be supplied by seagull. Yeah. Yeah. See, so you see, I, we, we can just compare the websites for these guys, right? Let's go to Seagull, right? Their, their home, it looks like this, you know? It's uh, the bare minimum for a, for a website. Yeah. Right. Maybe I should go and design a website for them. <laughs> Maybe you should, man. I'm and so, then I'm so <laughs> you you click on watches and you click on I'm this itching. guy. You know, it's it's the bare. There's no there's no story. Style. You know, there's, there's no there's, there's no nothing. Style, that, man. They don't have a tree X structure that draws you in. You know, it's just yeah. oh, okay. Here's some pictures. Here are the specs. Here you go. Right. You go to fucking Mister Jones watches. Right. You go down, they have beautiful pictures, right? Uh, lighting, beautiful lighting here, right? Yeah. And then all these nice pictures and they have paragraphs yeah. of just... Yeah. Mm, this is These are not Content. specs. You know, these are... Yeah. These are... Stories. Yeah, marketing, you know? Yeah. Nice words. Yeah. To the sell. fonts are different. They know how to it's sell It's not even Times watch. New Roman. Yeah. <laughs> Seagull uses Times New Roman, man. Yeah, it's That's tasteful, how you know? Yeah. Yeah. simple just clean yeah 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 so I think that's what the Chinese are, are, are lacking in the Chinese watch companies are lacking in they don't have enough attention because they don't have proper marketing for yeah. their company yeah they don't yeah. understand that part yeah and when people look at their their, their website they're like ew you know it's it not it's, it, it looks cheap when you look at their website and the website is the most important thing in, in terms of, you know, portraying your company's identity. It's it's like going to a shop, right? Like if you go to exactly. a shitty looking yes. shop, you don't feel like paying a lot. Exactly. Right? Yeah. But you go yeah. to a so, like, oh, wow, yellow lights, dim lights, and like yeah. nice wooden tables and like people yeah. dressed up nice, nice. And they, they speak yeah. to you like, like as though you're a king, like, sir, ma'am. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I have, to hand it, I have to hand it to the Europeans and the West, you yeah. know. They, they really, really know how to market and tell their story. Yeah. They understand the user to, experience a lot better. Yeah, yeah. The human component, sort of, yeah. so to speak, yeah. you know. They understand that. And if I think the Chinese, if the Chinese watch companies buck up on that, I think they'd be superb. Yeah, maybe they have they to do. stop being a communist first, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I, I guess so. I guess so. But you know, that's that's how it is. I mean, if if only the Chinese take, I mean, goes towards that path. You know, yeah, that that, yeah. that 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 path of like storytelling, marketing. But you were telling me before, yeah. uh, there there are Chinese independent war- watchmakers right now, right? That are oh yeah, a- yeah. Achi, so, <laughs> HCI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Part of eight. laughs> All right, I want to talk about I want to talk a little bit about HCI and how the uh, um, Chinese watchmakers are actually celebrated by the Swiss. Right. Yeah. So uh, if you go up to the uh, the AHCI uh, uh, um, website, you can actually see there are people like uh, Zi Hua Tan. There are people like. Uh, right. Right. Zi Hua Tan, Lin Yong Hua, Zhu Xu Ma, Guo Ming. These, these guys, you know, you go to their member section. Yeah. These Chinese watchmakers are actually like recognized, you know? Right, there we go. Oh, wait. No, for their watchmaking actually... prowess. So no, it Lin just Yong shows Hua. that that the Chinese are actually coming up. Yeah, and their their watchmaking or or their you know their watch manufacturing their watch companies should not be taken lightly because it's only a matter of time where they actually catch up. They catch up to the Swiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exciting I, times, man. But yeah. th- would that mean that and, we'll and stop having cheap watches? <laughs> they have to start I, going to the Russians for cheap watches. <laughs> I think I think Chinese is all about value. Yeah, it's all about value. It's about what you're paying what you're you're getting which is very very Chinese you know you know you you, you pay for what you get for and this guy like Lin Yonghua 
look at his watches, man. It's like it's like MBNF. Like MBNF, the, the the level of like, look at that, look at that 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 two dial, that that two dial watch. Like, look, look at that. We have uh, one dial for the uh, hours the, and minutes. The hours, one one hour, uh, one dial for the for the minutes. The glass, it's beautiful. Man. It's the crystal, and it's the shape of the crystal. A box crystal is hard enough to make, but to shape the crystal like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look nice. at the uh, the second last one. Which is the second it just, last one. It just shows. It just shows that they are coming up, man. And it's only a matter of time. Oh, okay, it's this is only this a, a turntable. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> this is a turntable. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. The, the, the music note there. Yeah, it just shows. It's just, it's just time. They, all they need now is time to just catch up to the Swiss. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if one day the Chinese manufacture watches that can rival or possibly even be better than the Swiss. And these guys are, are, are not, are, are no joke. They are no joke at all. And they're coming up. So I can't wait for what the uh, the Chinese watch industry is going to evolve into. I am super, super stoked and super, super excited of what they can provide and what they're going to make. And I really, really would want to see what the Chinese are actually doing in five years or ten years' time. I'll be very, very excited to see, mm. to see what they can come up with. Actually, uh, speaking of coming up with, I, I think there are people who are, you know, m- trying to make that happen. There is a Facebook group on... Uh, there, there's a Facebook group for Chinese watches. And it's started by this... A uh, guy called H. Chi, right? Uh, let me try to pull him up here. Chinese Watches International. And uh, it's started by this guy called H. Chi. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to find him, but he has this brand called uh, Mason Celadon. Right? Okay. These are not cheap watches, right? These are. He's trying to make some quality watches. Mm-hmm. Uh, there you go. Do you see this Mason Celadon? Uh, okay, so I'm sure I've shown it to you before, but he is he's trying to come up with his own original designs. Oh, that's nice. Right? That's very nice. Uh, what I like is he is using... This is a, just a gear shape pattern. I'm not a big fan of this one, but you look at the back of the watches, right? Oh, wow. Hold on. The back of the watches, you can see right here, right? Oh, wow. That is nice. You know, this is... Oh, look at that. This is solid finishing, you know? This is nice finishing. And that looks, that looks amazing. You finish it off with these Chinese characters... You know, which I can't really read. <laughs> but it look cool as fuck, though, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And this is what you can do, you know, to incorporate the Chinese into it, but still make it look nice. And I think he's doing it really well here, right? He's also, he, he did this thing where he, he hired some silk, embro- some silk masters, embroidery, embroidery masters from China. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he made dials uh, that is just silk, with art how engraved would, on it. How could you even like make an embroidery that's so small that fits in a watch? Right? It looks it looks nice. It looks pretty cool. The case wow, shape I, though, like I'm not really feeling it's all, it. It's alright. You know, to me it's alright. It's it's okay. I, I I'd wear it. I'd wear it. Yeah, it's okay. Honestly. But I feel like it could have been done better. I feel like it doesn't really fit. Uh, what he's going for with the dial. But that looks really, I mean, aesthetically pleasing. I like the ideas that he's so coming nice. up with, you know? Yeah, yeah. He the finishing is, is not bad. He's too. also doing cloison you enamel. Have the, you have the, uh, the Genta looking watch. He's also doing cloison enamel. Cloison enamel Ooh. is a process where they, they have to cut <clears> up, <throat> uh, I think, gold, 
wire to to shape all these lines. Yeah, yeah. All right, and yeah. then fill up. Uh, so you you shape all these lines, the outline of the color. artwork with gold wire, <clears throat> right? And then you fill yeah. it with enamel and burn it, and then you polish yeah. the entire thing up, right? Oh wow! And yeah, yeah. you know you got all these nice. Chinese art designs. They look really cool. Yeah. I, I like the ideas is, that he's coming up with. You know? It looks amazing. Wow. Yeah. And the finishing. The it's finishing is good. Very good. It's, yeah. it's good stuff. It's hand finished, uh, if I'm mistaken. Yeah. And, you know, you have your, what, three quarter plate like the Germans do it. Mm-hmm. Right? It's really nice. I, I, like, I like that he is putting up, he is putting a standard of quality to it. He's trying to raise the standard of yeah. quality to the watches he's making. And yeah. so I, I think it's a, it's a brand to look out for. Mason Saladon. M-A-I-S-O-N-C-A-L-A-D-O-N. Mason Saladon. Made in China with pride. That's their, that's their motto. I think that is the direction that the Chinese should actually go to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you know, do you know that if you go on to uh, Seagull right now, you can see that their watches, they actually say China made instead of actually proudly putting the, uh, the, 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 the Chinese words. Yeah, yeah, I like that, you know. Yeah, Zhongguo. That should, they, should just, they should just put those two Chinese words there. Yeah, and that cool. is good enough, yeah. you know. That is way better than putting China made. Yeah. They should be proud. And I, Saladon. Mason Celadon. I don't think going... I don't think they're getting a lot of uh, publicity, but I think they should. They should. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, they, Absolutely. They've man. stopped. They've stopped producing the silk dial and the cloison in enamel dial for some reason. I think it's, it's due hard to. to make, I, it's hard I think to make. I think they're not getting enough customers or, or sales. Not only know, that, to, to it's not that easy to make as well. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's not but, easy. But I hope to see them do that in the future. Yeah. Hmm. I would definitely have a look into this brand. Yeah, yeah. This is what the Chinese should actually go towards, you know? Properly designed, you know, forward thinking. Yeah. Avant-garde type of... You know, look at the case. The, the shape of the case is avant-garde, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, what, it's like what Sarpaneva would do. <clears throat> you yeah. know Sarpaneva? Yeah. I, Sarpaneva watches. I'm a big fan of yeah. Sarpaneva. They are, they are loom dials. Those are yeah. cool. It's what Sarpaneva would do. It looks very Sarpaneva-ish. I'm not a big fan of this Yufei. I, I think he's trying to come. Up, he's trying to do a more sporty version of the watch, but I think oh, there's fine. something that's missing. Yufei is fine, but I, I really like the uh, the the Gyosh. This one, the, the look Imperial. At, yeah, look at the case. The Imperial Midnight Blue. Yeah, look at the the. the case. I like this red one. It's <laughs> the red one. Oh, this okay. Is the blue one. I like the I, red one. You know, it, it's, one. it's 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 like fuck you, China. You know, it's it's like. China and brown. China. It's like China. <laughs> <laughs> when you wear it, it's like, Tongguo. Yeah. <laughs> you got the two words down there as well. Yeah, man. And this is what the Chinese should actually do. Instead of Swiss made or China made, yeah. just put Tongguo. Yeah, yeah. And it, it just sums up what China is all about. Uh, I think speaking of that, actually, Saladon. I think that's that's one of their, their struggles, their obstacles when it comes to naming their watches, coming up with good names and logos. Yeah. If you come up with just right. Chinese names, people yeah. will not get it at all, you know? Yeah. And so I, I think that's why they try to come up with European names to, <laughs> to get people to right, buy right. it. I but, mean, uh, you you got to do what you have to do, right? Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I honestly don't mind it. I think it's amazing that Saladon, Saladon is making watches like these, of this design, of this quality. Yeah. I, I Oh, man. If I... I'll be super stoked to see one in person. Yeah. It, people like this guy, like H. Chi. All prices are Singapore dollars. Oh, so what? It's sold in Singapore? Uh, oh, you can actually I, buy it. Yeah, oh. yeah, you can buy it. You can buy it. This is cool. Singaporean dollars, 1003, 1004. La. Singaporean dollars for the imp- Imperial Blue. For, for a Giosh, dude. Yeah. It's a steal. I think the Swiss would charge three, four, five times more. See, I, I like, I like. Look at their website. This guy is doing it well. You know, nice design of the website. 
you know. Yeah, simple. There is. Oh, there, there we go. This guy, Chi H uh, H. Born in Benjamin Chi. Born in oh. Singapore, right? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like where this guy is going. Yeah. I like what this guy is doing. Yeah. I will definitely check it out and I'll read more about this soon. Then we will talk about it in the next episode or something. Yeah. And look at look at his website. But, like, he knows he he understands. You know, like it's people like this that, that understands what's how to market. He understands yeah. the the watch world. You know. How do you find out about it. this? Uh no, I just follow. I follow groups on Facebook, man. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah, this it's exactly. fantastic. I think what he's doing is 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 you know reflective of what the Swiss is doing. Yeah. Uh, but in his own taste. Yeah. And that's what I admire about it. I, I really th- really like it. I think it's I, like, I dig it. He's not there yet, it. but you know, I I see him trying. Yeah, you know, I see him doing. Yeah. Good things. Yeah, and it's a know? good. And it's a really really good try. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. The watches are beautiful. Yeah. I will wear that. The the price is actually appropriate. I feel it's very appropriate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for yeah. up and coming thing. Yeah, and and it, it it goes back to the 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 statement that I made. You know, like Chinese watches are all about value. Yeah, this guy's good. And yeah. then we have, what else do we have, man? We have a Atelier Wen. Have you heard of them? No. Let me bring it up here. Atelier Wen. Okay, this is, this is. N- I'm not sure whether to call this a Chinese company, man. Uh, hold on, something wrong. Okay, I'm not sure whether to call this a Chinese company because. Ooh. I think it is by French people. But they, these French people are really two close friends from France. Uh, okay. The founder is called Wilfried Buron. But he works with a lot of Chinese people for this, you know. He ah. works with Chinese artists. He works with Chinese ma- manufacturers and everything. And Very the watches, you know, the watches. If you look at them, they are the design is very Chinese influence, Chinese art influence. You know, like look mm. at look at this mm. dial right here. Look at this one, this uh-huh. green one. Uh-huh. It reminds me of a uh-huh. mahjong tile. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it. It's nice. I see it. You know, you got your ma- you got your but, Chinese but again, uh, you, motifs, you, Chinese words. Look, I think it looks like fine china. You know, China. Yeah, yeah, exactly, like, like, exactly. Like the blue, yeah. the blue of the. This is porcelain. Yeah, that, this that, is that. porcelain. This is porcelain. Right. Yeah, you know, heat, <clears throat> blue hands, and this, and they they actually use they try to understand the Chinese like like this is, I don't know some feng shui shit. I, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> like uh, some. No, dude. I I really dig Taoism it. shit. I'm not sure it's what it is, nice. but but they, I forgot the story behind the the design, but, uh, they do, make they do do their research, you know, and it shows. I think. Mm. It shows. They don't have a lot of. I'm I'm, I'm really really digging selection the design. Yet, but the the ones that they do have is very nice. Look at the case back here. Yeah. Wow. It's very nice. The actual engraving. I'm a big fan of him. Like uh what does it call it? The relief. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Whoa. Dude, this is cool, man. Let's look at the white and blue here. Porcelain or the Well, and they are huh. not cheap. They are not Yo, cheap, dude. They are not cheap. Man. They're not that expensive either, actually. They're like two K Malay. Actually no, they're not that expensive, they're three K. Three three four K Malaysian. And it's all sold out. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look okay, at the detail okay. in this. I see you. Look I see you. Look at the detail. It's nice. Porcelain dial. I'm a fan of porcelain yeah. dial. The hand and is the well finished look, too. Look at this. They look crisp. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Very wow. nice stuff. Very nice stuff. And they... There's okay. a lot of thought put into this. Like the straps they give. Uh-huh. Uh, I think they they use a salmon strap for something, and it looks like look at this guy. Yeah, look. Oh man, I'm trying to get the. It looks like shell. No, this is just calf, I think. Uh, but like they, shell have a, they have a version. They provide a version that is uh, the salmon skin. Hold on. I don't. I don't know why. Okay, you see this? 
Uh huh. This is fish skin, tilapia or something. It, it looks like I don't know it looks very appropriate for the watch. You know what I'm saying? Look at this thing. Can you see it? Whoa! Yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. It's not utilized a lot. Fish skin, uh, fish leather. Uh huh. But I feel like it works perfectly. Blue here. salmon leather straps. Yeah, there we go. Salmon Whoa. leather. It looks yeah, like cool. I don't know. It feels. I I think dragon when I see it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's so appropriate it's, for the design. Yeah, it's so appropriate. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of theirs. I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah, to see I'm, a, they I'm a huge fan of it as well, man. Yo, thanks for like like they bring this up. Yeah, it's so so interesting. It's cool stuff, yeah. man. So, yeah. So, Chinese watches, man. Yeah. All right. Let me show you what what else we got. Okay, Memorigen. You know Memorigen, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, I know Memorigen. Yeah, yeah. Memorigen. Uh, they are. Uh, they do a they lot are, of. They are a, they're a Hong Kong Hong, Hong Kong company. All oh, right, right. They do a lot of tourbillons. I'm they they are. Yeah. They are a tourbillon brand. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, let me represent again. Hold on. Present a window. There we go. Can you see it? Yeah. All right. Top member region. Uh, okay, so this brand, they, they specialize I've in tourbillons. I've seen it in stores. Uh, same. I've seen it in stores. Same. Yeah. They're not cheap. They come they're up not, with a not. lot of crazy designs. All right. Yeah. Some work, most don't. <laughs> but yeah. but they are they they, but I like that they are experimental. You know, mm-hmm. I like that they try, they take risks. Oh, see the Iron Man one. They they also work no, no. with a lot of a lot of uh, they what do you call that? They collaborate with a lot of other entities like it's Marvel. Not, it's not a very nice. It looks like shit. Though, all right, that's it. Yeah, that's, it's like what what Seiko Five is doing for Street Fighter. This this these don't look good. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect analogy. Uh, yeah. Comparison. But look oh, at this no, one. Man. Look at this one. I'll okay, this doesn't look oh, great. That's cool. But it looks okay, you know, it's serviceable, but they are trying. Wood? It's wood. It's a wood dial, oh. wood bezel. They are wow. experimental. That's what I did. It's, I respect them for that. You yeah. know? It's, but the execution is just not there. Right? Yeah. Like no no, like it still works. Like, oh my sometimes... god, is that a blatant copy of Linda Wodelin? Is this what, is this what it is? What? Which no, one? The back. Yeah, the, the the watches at the side. Yeah. That's Linda Wodelin. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you know Linda Wodelin, the brand? Uh, no, I'm not very familiar with it. Right, let me just show you. Linda Wodelin. It's a blatant copy, man. I guess they do still copy others, lah. Yeah, but it's like a blatant one-on-one copy. When I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's that's an LW. Check it out, man. I just send it to you. Okay, hold on. Let me put it up. Linda Werdelin. Look at I- that. It's the same thing. Is it? Where? There? It's the same watch, the same design. I think I'm going way down. <laughs> there, 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 there. there we go. You see it? Uh, let's compare. Boom. Uh, I guess I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised, though, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But then, uh, the dial is different, though, yeah. Dial is different, but the case, the case shape. Isn't this case shape quite similar to the Audemars Piguet? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, the uh concept. Yeah. Audemars Piguet concept. Audemars. Uh, but I saw this on Linda first. Oh really? Yeah, I saw this on Linda first. Okay, interesting. I knew Lin. I. I mean, I, I, I know of Linda Woodlin uh, when I first got into watches. Here we go, an Audemars Piguet concept, <clears throat> right? Looks yeah, very similar to same. this as well. Yeah, very similar. I mean, if yeah. if Audemars but, Piguet 
is copying Linda Wurlin, I, I don't think I can judge Memorigin for copying them as well. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You're right. You're right. It's not You're a right. co- it's not a direct copy though. Like the the logs Some are different. elements are there. The logs are different. Logs are different, yeah. yeah. No, it's not it's like copy. a it's, it's like a Franken design. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. hey. Memorigin, it still looks good though. Not, still looks good, yeah. Still looks good. Yeah. 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 It's giving me a lot of this, uh, the System 51, the System uh, Swatch Fly Magic. Yeah. System 51 Fly Magic. It's giving me a lot of that vibe. Look, I, I like, a, a, I actually quite like a few of the designs. Like, look at this right here. All right. This is cool. It looks like eyes. They call it the time I... machine. Not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea? Uh, the, the one you showed me, the one with the, the planets. Uh, this one? Uh, this one. This is like pretty this. cool. It's pretty cool. It's cool. What is this? Uh, hold, uh, it's a Tobion. Is that a model it's a Tobion. name? Okay, so this is cool. This is pretty cool. I think this is, you see the on the 12 o'clock? Yeah. I think that's what a seconds. That? There's a seconds counter. Oh. But it's 3D, wow. you know? It's, it's, you got a, like a globe thing going on. Yeah. Uh, like circles. And it looks pretty cool. And then you have this frame around it. You have nice a nice ah, uh, you see okay another thing about these uh, Chinese watch makers or watch companies right it's always I mean I always find something cool then I always find something that's like cringy like uh okay what, what don't you like why would you the, the square the square why would you ah, right, put right. that there okay it's okay just... they have one without look at this oh okay okay this is nice okay this one is right. good they, ha- okay, they even try good. using the the transparent reminds me of the hour, hour dial Look at uh, this. Jacob and Go Astronomia. Yeah. But this is nice. I'll wear this. Yeah. And okay, this is what's cool about it. Look at this. Look at the side of this. At the three o'clock. Uh-huh. It's a separate crystal. And Whoa. The sides, the side of it isn't uh-huh. covered with metal. So this is one piece of fire. So you can actually Whoa. see the side of the Okay, that's of cool. The that's really cool. That's really cool. You know? It's pretty cool stuff, man. It's pretty good stuff. And they're not cheap. I'm not sure what how much it costs, but I remember it's still below Swiss prices, obviously. But... I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's cool. They they look like they, they are putting in effort, you know? Yeah. 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 So I respect that about them. Yeah. Yeah. These are the three higher-end Chinese watches that... Uh, Chinese watch brands that I found. Yeah, so like I say, you know, they are so underrated. Yeah. They are really, really underrated. I and I urge like even new collectors, uh, just getting to the to, to the to watch collecting and and, and being a watch nerd, you should definitely 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 check out uh Chinese watches. They are not exactly a disappointment, but <laughs> they are <laughs> not exactly a disappointment. But they I think, are I think you need to work on your selling that, skills as well, man. <laughs> sorry? I think like the skill? Chinese like the Chinese, uh, you uh, might need to work on your your selling skills as well. <laughs> <laughs> but you but should buy them because they're not exactly though. a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, there are, there are, I mean, you can't deny that there's a lot of hate going yeah, on Chinese yeah. watches. Don't write them off just yet, right? Yeah, don't write them off just yet. Just you might be surprised have, by, give it a try, by some have, of the things they come look, up with. Yeah. Read about them and. Uh, just just look at these brands, you know, Memorigin, Celadon, uh, uh, Maison, Maison Celadon. Yeah. If actually, so, bring, which brings us to, if you're not looking to spend a lot, especially on the Chinese watch, I have actually come up with quite a selection here of watches I found on uh, AliExpress. Some are pricier than others. Some are quite cheap. All right. But uh, there are quite a few brands that have, caught my attention here. I want to show it to you. All right. So we can talk about, since we've been talking about mostly uh, uh, dress watches, right? Let's change up the topic and talk about sports watches. Okay. So right here I have a watches I found on AliExpress that are dive watches and the thing like you said with Chinese watches you get a lot of 
uh, value. Are this the uh, the OEM ones without like with no brands? Yeah, so here's the thing. A lot of them are homages. They they do steal designs from other brands, but they but- change things up a bit as well. Hmm. All right. So okay. one of the things that I, I found was this. Remember last last week we were talking about uh the the watches we we like uh our yeah. grail watches fantasy watch yeah. collections yeah one yeah. of the divers i i brought up to your attention was the puck right the helios puck yeah that yeah. is they don't produce it anymore they 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 sold very little of those very few of those yeah yeah and it's hard to get right i don't know if i don't know how it came to the chinese uh attention radar <laughs> yeah, the radar, but they created this. Yo, what? <laughs> this is a puck. This is essentially a puck, but with slightly different design. You know, the the dial is different. The the bezel font yeah. is different. All right, but it's oh, okay. not bad. It's a one thousand meter diver for two hundred USD. I would think that would have been your salt. <laughs> Not proven until tested. Right? Okay, no. So, so steel dive. Uh, I've seen actually quite a lot of reviews of them on on YouTube, and uh, they're supposedly pretty good. Their their loom is pretty good. Not no one's really tested the water resistance. They actually say ice hockey top dive watch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, they definitely took took cues from the puck, right? Yeah, I mean it's 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 a uh, it's definitely a puck ripoff. Oh, nice. Uh... Nice but, links. I but, love that. But yeah, but they give you uh, a bracelet Non-solid. and they they have Is this different solid? colors. They have different color options. Uh, what do you mean by solid? Yeah, it's, so, it's solid, solid links. I think it's solid links, man. It's not folded. Wow. It's definitely not folded. So yeah, this is one of them. Very I think it's pretty nice. If you if you wanted a puck and you couldn't find one, then this is a good alternative. Okay. Uh... The, the strap, the the bracelet looks like a a Helsin, if you know this. Yeah, these are just engineer engineer brace en- engineer yeah, links. Engineer, that's engineer, but the yeah. other one is like um like what Helsin would make. The shape of it is similar, but the Helsin ones yeah. have H links, for Helsin. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right, pretty right. cool. I actually like I actually like like that they use H links, for the Helsins. <laughs> uh, nice. this one uses Japan NH thirty five. You know. Oh, uh, the workhouse movement. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, uh, forty six mm, quite big, but for the puck because it has no lugs, it wears quite yeah, well. It wears quite small. Yeah. Yeah. Thickness is fourteen mm, roughly twenty two mm, uh, lugs, and it has a sapphire dome crystal. Mm. Mm. Anti, Interesting. What the glare, Chinese I mean, to actually movement. manufacture and provide at yeah. a fraction of the price. This uses BGW nine super super luminova man. Holy shit! Wow. Yeah. Water value man. One thousand meters. Look, if this checks out right, if all of this checks out, and you can actually use this watch for diving, it's a it's a it's a goddamn steal. It's Yo man, I, I actually steal. think this has a, this has a, uh, what do you call that? The 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 helium escape valve. Uh huh. I think this might have it, man. It's a thousand meter diver, and it says here exhaust valve. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it has a helium exhaust escape valve, valve, dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh. uh, speaking of the, like I said, homage watches. There's a few here as well. If this is a sub homage, so there are a lot of sub homages out there. All right, fuck load right. of them. All right. I'm not a big fan of direct homage, like direct ripoffs, but uh-huh. this one I do like because you can't find this in Rolex from Rolex. This is a bronze Submariner. Ooh, a bronze case. They have a few, actual, a few companies that do this. Bronze, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, it looks nice. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I like, it's, I like it's a Submariner, green, you know. I like the green dial. Yeah. Green gold style, and I like bronze. I like <clears throat> I like that they have bronze. You know, it's it's like a black bay bronze. You know? mm. 
but in the submariner oh, that case. Oh, that's good, man. Was his brand Steel Dive? Yeah, Steel Dive. Yeah. They even have uh well, okay, they have I guess they have the they have the Oris one as well, uh, right? I uh, this one I'm not as big a fan of because this is kind of a direct ripoff, right? Mm-hmm. But uh they Still. have they have this. 55, Ooh. 50 fathoms, right? But in Reef bronze. Reef Tiger, wow. In bronze, bro. Oh, wait, is it in bronze? I mean, this okay, is no, also it's just a gold. direct rip off of the 55 fathoms. Okay, no, it's just fathoms. gold. It's just gold paint, okay. The- okay, rem- forget I show you that watch. Uh, so, <laughs> so before what? this, we were saying they, they rip off Swiss watches a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. They don't only do that now, they also rip off, uh, they also do homages of Japanese watches now. Okay. Yeah, that I know. Uh, they have. Yeah, look at that! I can see a turtle there. Oh, you can see it already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. A turtle, but they changed up some things, man. Like it's a bronze turtle, which you can't find from Ooh. Seiko, right? <laughs> you got this. It looks like a a modded. Yo, dial. that skull is loom. Yeah. It's black How? loom. How? I mean, oh, the so the cool. loom probably isn't very bright, lah. All right. But Still, it is pretty cool, right? It's really cool. Yeah, especially when it starts to. I'm wearing patina. a turtle now, by the way. A what? A turtle. Nice, nice. You want to change it to this? You want to sell that and buy this instead? <laughs> oh, no, <man. laughs> no way. <laughs> they have a few turtle uh, variations. They have this Heimdaller. I'm not a big fan of the name, but the design is pretty cool. I like that they change up the hands a little. Oh, it's Heimdall well. with an R. Yeah. And then we That's have cool, the <laughs> old Seiko. I, I don't know what this is called, but it's the their old Seiko divers that they recently reissued, I think. But oh, in bronze. Right. But that's a turtle again. This is not a turtle. This is the older one. I think it's it's around the time of the 6-2 mass. Right. Yeah. I like that you have these options online, you know? bronze watches I really don't like the name yeah San Martin yeah fucking hate <laughs> it too but I think they do provide uh, oh, a sterile dial oh yeah oh nice yeah I think if you want you can ask them to put your own logo on it as well some of these brands do let you do that that'd be so cool yeah and then we have a Seiko uh, a, tur- a tuna Seiko tuna in bronze Ooh. I think that's pretty cool I don't mind this logo actually Yes, it's just a shark. Wow, but, uh, shark master. It's 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 basically a rip off of this tuna any, design, but a, it's all bronze. Do you have a Sorel Dow? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Not for this brand. But I remember last week you were saying you like 62 Mass, right? Yeah. I they do. have that as well. Boom. In bronze. Yep, in bronze. Nice. Which you can't find, which you can't get from Seiko, and you can get it here. Mm. You know? It looks pretty Very good. nice. It looks pretty good. The bloom is actually pretty good too. Uh, let's see what they say. 41 mm, it may actually be bigger, so, you know, not direct. Uh, it's, it uses a C3 Superluminova, which is the brightest kind, or, or used to be the brightest. Uh, yeah, super yeah. Luminova. So, yeah, very few interesting. colorways. You got green dial, got blue dial, got black dial. Yeah. Very interesting. Another so watch. So not only the Chinese is actually giving the middle <laughs> finger to the Swiss, but they're also giving the middle finger to the Japanese. They don't give a fuck like, about. You can do this. You can do this. I can do this. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about IP, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't give a fuck at all. But here's what you get, what you want, you know? Like, like if, if you ever wish the Seiko would do these these uh, models in bronze, oh, mm-hmm. here you go. The Chinese provides you that option. <laughs> this is by Kronos. Uh, also the 62 mass uh, homage. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have different logos available. You have Sterile Dao. You have I- oh. LW, right? Wow. You have Kronos. And actually, I'm like definitely this, going for the sterile dials. At, you can also put your own logo, I think, if not mistaken. Yeah. 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 You have this. This is a bit different, right? This is if you're not into homage or into 
ripoffs, homages. This is quite different, I think. But I don't think it looks that great, lah. Mm. But it does. It's not even an actual okay watch. Name. It's a. It's actually a render. <laughs> okay, they they have an actual watch here. Oh, okay. There we go. It's not too bad. It reminds me of the Halson, the 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 big minute hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It does have yeah, the very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And then the disproportionate minute hand. I like we it. We also have this. I'm not sure if this is a ripoff. I feel like I've seen this bezel somewhere before, but uh, nothing comes to mind, you know? But this is cool because it has uh, gemstone dials. But is it actual gemstone? Though? It's actual gemstone. It? Actual gemstone. This is malachite, and they have lapis lazuli. Oh, malachite. Is that amethyst? This is lapis lazuli. Yeah, and it's only wow. 260 USD. It's like what Helios will pro, uh, will make. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, what's what's the name? Uh, Undone recently yeah. came out with a bronze watch with a lapis dial. That is, they, they put some Arabic uh, sh- scheme to it. Like it has Arabic themes design. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Arabic hand, uh, Arabic numerals, and a big a- Arabic word on the case back. But uh, okay. we have this as well, you know. So yeah, these. I think are... it was. I think it was last year that uh, I like what. I'm uh, speaking of undone, right? Yeah. I like what undone <clears throat> did. I think it was last year. He they actually collaborated with an artist. Right, right. The black, right. black and white. I can't remember which artist. Oh, the Japanese really artist, really... right? The Japanese, the Japanese artist, comic yeah. artist with the hands, the, the cute boy yes, with the hands, yeah. right? That is so cool. Yeah, that, that looks so very nice. It looks very nice. Uh, oh yeah, I really like it. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, that's yeah. You know, just yeah. So yeah. Yeah, you were saying sorry. So yeah, the, you, you go to Alan Express if you want to buy a sports watch. You have a lot of options, right? You have you have Paganini design. You have your other. I brought up the the bronze watches here because they're hard oh, to find. Oh, Pagani design. Yeah. <laughs> but you have a lot of options, and for very cheap, a lot cheaper than yeah. you get anywhere else. A lot cheaper yeah. than Seiko, a lot cheaper than Swiss, right? And you get quality stuff. You get high specs. You get sapphire. You get uh, good loom. You get... Value. Yeah. You it's get basically high value water resistance. You know, you get materials. So, yeah. You get a lot yeah. of stuff if you want. I'll definitely look whatever. into this, especially the Steraldels. Um, I'm always a fan of 62 masks, but they're so hard to find. Yeah, and when and they're they not cheap, found, man. They're, they're not really cheap. expensive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, you might have to look around. So, uh, look, look around. Yeah, I would month. actually look around. Yeah, yeah, interesting. All right. Definitely, I would definitely, definitely, definitely have a look around. Right. So to conclude, right? <clears throat> We're not concluding, Chinese. man. We're not. I still have so many more to show you. Oh, how many more? A lot. All oh, right. Okay. So. Uh, okay, I have Suggest here. Uh, this one, I've shown you before, these watches. These are... We're moving on to dress watches now. All right, all casual watches. Oh, su- Suggest, yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. So... Seen it, seen it around. I don't like their <clears throat> name, right? I think we... I've shown it to you before and we both are of the consensus that their name and their logo sucks. <laughs> right? But what they're yeah. doing here is actually pretty cool. You know, this is... A, the the dial you like the most like the, the what enamel Ina, uh, oh brigade enamel. brigade numerals it's enamel dial okay. it's an enamel dial oh for real yeah with brigade numerals and yo. everything else looks good man that's a heat blue those are heat blue hands yo those are heat blue heat blue hands look nice okay okay if you could scrub away the, the logo right but they actually do provide that check this out oh uh, not this Oh, yeah, this one, this all right. Yeah, but it's actually a memo. Yeah, that's what they say. It's a tobium, blah blah blah. Where, where did they say it's a memo? Uh, from here, I think they say it here. Uh, enamel surface, yeah. There we go, enamel surface dial. Yeah. Hmm. 
They provide that. They give you that. How much is one of these? 700 USD, 500 USD, around there. 700 USD. Plus, uh, yeah. And these are Tobion's, yeah. right? I, th- I like this one. The The logo is very small. You don't really, you can, you can kind of like close one eye and not see it, you know? <laughs> but, yeah. but uh, the... It's a blatant copy of a brick. Yeah, it is. But it's nice yeah. though. Classic. <laughs> it's $700, you know, USD yeah. dollars. And it, it's, it's, I would wear it, man. I don't mind it. Sud- suggest. <laughs> <laughs> and you have this one. This oh, one is pretty is cool. cool. That is so Hitch Moser. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Except, Moser, okay, man. this is, it's a pretty cool watch. It's $530, right? You only have to overlook uh-huh. one thing. The fucking diamond on that, on this, on the, <laughs> on the second, what? on the, you see the Tobion, the escapement what? here? The tip here, the the second, uh-huh. the second hand, on the Tobion. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's a small little. That's a diamond. Yeah, I fucking hate it when they do that. Who told them that lo- that looks good? Like that's 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 what I say. You know, it's like <laughs> Chinese watches. It's all good until you find one thing like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. It's always something about it. There's there's never a perfect design. See, that's the thing. I am gonna show you some pretty good designs later on. Now we move on to. Agiloser, H Loser. Have you heard of them? No. H Moser, yes. Okay, this so these watches are quite nuts. These are quite nuts. Let me show you this one. Check this one out. Do you see it? H Lo what? Look at the movement. Look at the movement. Look at this. Is that heated blue? Uh probably not. Uh. I'm not sure. I mean it's still but, a render. Do you have yeah. a an actual picture of the watch or something? Render. Uh, I'm not sure. But but still render. But still though, look at the movement. This is not this is the design put in it. I think I think it's a ripoff of someone, but the fact that they can do it is pretty cool. I fucking very, hate very cool. the name. <laughs> I fucking hate yeah, their logo. In in aerial. <laughs> What the fuck is that even? What is H loser? Agiloser? You know? But what they do, what they can do is pretty fucking cool. Let me show you this yeah. watch. Yeah. Let me show you this watch. Oh. Wow. Okay, this is all okay. Okay, don't care, don't care. But uh look at that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's still a copy of Royal Oak. It's not a direct copy. Uh, just, just the right fashion. But you see this, the movement? It's the, mm-hmm. a, lot of, a lot of people, when they do skeleton movements, they cut up some, like some random... They, they, they use a dial and they cut up a random shape of patterns onto the dial. And they put over the movement... And they call it, and they, they, they try to pass it off as, you know, or a skeleton, a designed skeleton movement. But it isn't. This, the, it's the actual plate is cut off. You see that? It's an actual wow, skeleton hour, movement. 80 hour power reserve. Wow. That's pretty impressive, right? Well, I guess this isn't, very, very uh, this isn't a Tobion. But it still looks pretty cool for a sports watch. Okay, mm-hmm. now check this out. This is, I think, a ripoff of a Bell and, Bell and Ross. Uh-huh. But they can do this. This is not cheaper. But this is a full sapphire crystal case. Are you for real? Yeah. A full sapphire crystal Yo. case. Tobion movement. What? That is... Sapphire crystal gems on the hour markers. They took what Richard Mille was doing and they, make it into their, they made it into their own. No, no. This is, this is a rip-off of Bell and Ross. Bell and Ross did yeah, something. Yeah, rip-off of Bell and Ross. Yeah, but the, 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 the entire Sapphire... I mean, the Sapphire case. Yes. No, yeah. Bell and Ross did that as well. A lot of companies are oh, doing they that. Did? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen... Uh, I've not seen one of those actually... But yeah, the the case. I mean, the the movement, the dial of this one is, I think, is probably different from Dan Rosser. 
But you you get this, you know, it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, they have one in blue. The fact that would they you can wear do this, some, you know? would you wear something like this? Uh, I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't. Look, if they come up with a nicer design, maybe. But okay. I'm not paying that price for it, uh, I'm not. I'm not that big fan. I don't think I'm. I'm. I'm that fascinated by sapphire cases. Yeah. All right. They also okay. Then they have your more conservative. This is actually quite hard to find. Believe believe it or not, it's like like these. Cartier. It's not fully Cartier, but a lot of okay. So a lot of most a lot of Swiss brands do copy Cartier's design as well. Yeah, that's right? true. So this that's isn't true. too bad, but this actually looks all right. I think it looks all right. You know, looks not bad. And. Uh, I, I'm happy to see that the Chinese you can buy a Chinese watch that looks not bad like this you know and you have this a what else? regulator dial oh that's not bad that's not with bad a, with it's like the, date. the Maurice Lacroix yeah oh not bad right <laughs> Lucerne Lucerne <laughs> <laughs> dude <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this brand is pretty okay. cool, except for the fucking names and the, the their name and the logo. <laughs> you know? And let me show yeah. you this one. This is pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is a ripoff or something, but this is nice. Reminds me of the Patek. Um, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, reminds me of the Patek. I, I fucking hate this oh God, Van, Gogh Van Gogh thing, <laughs> but they have the. Why do they put a Van Gogh? I, I don't know, man. Maybe they thought it was a good idea. But they have this one. You know it? It's just the sky, the the stars. Oh, that is cool. But oh. this is a big moon face. It's just that, that name, man. That name. Yeah. Yeah, it's the name, man. But yeah, this is Age Loser. Agaloser? Original. Agaloser. <laughs> Agaloser or Age Looker. All right. Then we idea. have we have Pierre Paulin. This is one of those what? where... <laughs> What? <laughs> this is one of those where they, they try to come up with a Swiss name, you know. But uh they have this. Wait. Do you see anything? No. No. Nope. Hold on. Okay, do you see it now? Yeah. Alright. Ooh. It's quite nice, right? It's nice. Yeah. The design is good. Okay, the the font is not killing it. Yeah. The, 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 the logo font. looks good. It's just that I'm not. It looks. I don't get it looks the name. small. Right? It looks like it's uh, what thirty nine millimeters, thirty eight millimeters. It looks really small. Forty three actually is huge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's huge. Interesting. But uh, it looks the the design looks good, right? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like a rip off of I'm anything. A sucker, I'm a sucker for that kind of topography as well. The the number. Whoa! Is that the back? Yeah. Yo. It's not bad, right? Two K. Two K Malaysian. Okay. okay. Not okay. bad, right? You got my attention. Right. You have... Got my attention. They have more. It's not bad as well. Yeah. I'm a sucker for Roman numerals. Right. Yo. Okay, that's cool. They have cool. white as well. That's really cool. Looks nice. All right. Then if you like your chronograph, you have your panda dial. <laughs> right. I think it looks uh, really good. It's mechanical. So it uses what? Yeah. Let me guess. It's a it's a your Seagull ninety six three. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Then you have your reverse panda as well. Yeah. It looks really good. It looks not bad. Yeah. 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 If you not want bad. a more even more vintage look, boom. Whoa. It's a pulsation. Very it's a pulsation. Very, very enamel dial, heat blue hands. Enamel, dude. Heat glued hands. That's a okay, pulsations, that's really cool. uh, pulsations counter. You know, very vintage. That's really cool. Yeah. Looks cool, right? And this is 38 millimeters. So oh, it's small. It's it's giving me a lot of Patek vibes, which I like. Hmm. It's just that the name. Uh, what do we think of the name, Pierre Paulin? Uh. I wouldn't. Uh, I no. Right, is is the fact like, that you know it's, it's like, a Chinese watch, but they're not 
proud enough to use a Chinese yeah. name. It's like it's like you know it's like Pierre Cardin, right? It's like Pierre Cardin, you know the brand Pierre Cardin. Uh huh. What about it? It's like it's it's trying to sound. It's like a tryhard. Yeah. You know. You have a lot of Malaysian brands that do that too. You know, like your, I don't even remember, but they, they, they it's Malaysian brands, but they they come up with a European name, so it sounds like it's imported. You know, for example, shit, ah, uh, uh, shit, I forgot, man. It's it's some German name. You even have your. It's really hard for me to come with a name right now, but. Okay, think of departmental stores like when you go to the mall, you see those uh-huh. like leather shoes or leather. Oh, okay, 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 okay. A lot yeah, of those are Malaysian okay. brands. Like Bonia. But... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Bonia. Yeah. Bonia, Bonia is if I'm not mistaken, it's Malaysian. It's they Malaysian. Actually, like make it, made yeah. it here. Yeah, Bonia, Bonia. Actually, it looks it actually looks quite nice. You know, Bonia is not too bad, but yeah, there are there are nice. there are some that uses like actual people's names, like European names. Yeah. So yeah, it's made in Malaysia. It, it gives me the same taste. Uh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. You know? And then okay, yeah. then they but have this one. This watch is nice. No, check this, check this last one out. I'm a fan of this one. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind getting this. Oh. You don't have the yeah, ugly name. Right. You don't have the it's Pierre right. Pauline name. Yeah. All right. You have just a, a two a gradient dial. I don't mind a gradient uh-huh. dial. It's clean. You don't have the diamond or the fucking tourbillon. Yeah, the the hands are nice. You don't have a loom on the hands. You know, it looks nice. Yeah, it's very simple, a simple Toby yeah. watch, and it's only four hundred USD, man. It's not bad. H Moser, right? Yeah, this is yeah. Pierre Paulin. If, if if they take away the twelve, it would be so H Moser. It looks nicer. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't mind. I yeah. wouldn't mind getting one of it. You know, it'd be cool if instead of using the Western numerals, the twelve, uh-huh. but they use Chinese words instead. I don't. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. All right. So yeah. that is Pierre Paulin. All right. Then you have Haufa. Have you heard of Haufa? Sorry. Haufa. I like this brand. No. No. I actually like this How many one. more brands do you have, man? Okay, so there's this one and then there's some miscellaneous. We're almost done. Okay. <laughs> All right. But this brand, I'm quite impressed by because they have good designs. They use a Chinese name. All right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go from worst to best design. All right. Okay. So, boom. You have a dress watch like so. Oh, no, no. No? no. Okay, let's skip no. ahead then. <clears throat> boom. <clears throat> Still no, right? It's okay. Actually, I feel it's, it's okay. It gives me, it's giving me that grandfather's clock vibe. Yeah. But the tobion itself looks good. You know, the movement oh looks Ooh, good. Ooh, that's the back? Yeah. That's really nice. You know, you got okay. finishing on here. You don't have unnecessary that? words. Is that, is that wood or loom. copper? It's copper, I think. Uh, I, th- I think it's just... Uh, uh, I don't think I don't think it's actually copper, but it's just you know PVD or whatever. It's colored la. How far? Yeah. All right. Then you have this one. I think this one looks actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah, because the logo is smaller, so I, I I'm digging it. Yeah. Nothing unnecessary, you know. Yeah. Then you have the seconds. I look at the back. The tobion looks fucking cool. You know, look at the back. The back, uh, they're all pretty standard, I think. Oh, okay, the back for this one is like this. Yeah, to well. be on how far. <laughs> it has etching. Okay. All right. But what I like about this one is the, actually the seconds. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You got a, like a, a like 0 a to 20 bind. counter. Yeah. And three hands. Yeah. Right. And you have the gyo like shape pattern and everything. I dig it. I dig it. It's tasteful, right? Yeah, I think it's watches like these, right? That sort of give uh, what uh, watch brands like Alang, Alang, Alang and so on, a bad name, you know. Alang have a bad name. Uh, produces yeah, Alang produces uh, a, a tourbillon like this as well. Right. And when I look at it, I just can't help thinking about Chinese watches. 
For real. Yeah, let me just show it, show it to you. Yeah. Look at this and tell me it doesn't look like a Chinese watch. Are you sending it to me somewhere? Yeah. Uh, what's that? You sent it right here. Yeah, just it. Okay. Look at that and tell me it doesn't look a Chinese watch. <laughs> I think, yeah, this uh, this Chinese watches, man, making tourbillons like that, it just spoils it for 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 serious, like actual, re real, revered watch brands like these, like Lange. Why you should think when the they Chinese watches, When they make something like this, I just can't. I mean, yeah, it's Lange. But when I get it, it's like, mm, you know? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't I can't shake off I can't shake it off like we said man breaking the magician's code <laughs> yeah yeah exactly look dude I can get this from AliExpress for 1399 would I really want to spend six figures on this watch though I know right you know? <laughs> yeah check out this next one I'm, I'm gonna show you this one has a more modern design ooh that's nice this is giving me the uh, the, the Oris uh, Pilot X or the X Pilot, was it Pilot X? Right. The yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's got the modern look, you know. And look at the, yeah. the, the locks, you know. The case, it's a hollowed out locks here. Oh, looks cool, that's right? Nice. That looks cool. No brands, right? No brand. Please tell me no, no brands. No, you don't see it. You don't see it. Yeah, you got the half nice. on the Tobiana. Oh, Super come small. on. <laughs> Why? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Uh, I don't mind it. You mind it? I mind it a little bit. See, there's always one little thing. Uh. It's like the perfect watch until you find out that one little thing. <laughs> always like that. But anyways, yeah, it looks cool. It looks cool. I mean, you can I can just look past the how far the that that you know that metal how far. Yeah. But other than that, look the at the back. Things always rotating anyway. I don't think they have the back picture here. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. But, uh, okay, there's another one. Boom. Also pretty complicated looking. But it looks like a Chrono Swiss. No, 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 no. You don't like this? No. No, the words. The placing. Ah, uh, this placing one. Placing of the words. Yeah, yeah. And why would they... Why would they... Okay, that's not a moon face. It's a day and night. Yeah, it's a day and night indicator, but why yeah. would they... Why would they shape it? <laughs> yeah, Why would yeah, they yeah. bend it like that? Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, yeah. Position it like yeah. that. It's very weird. I agree with you. I just think yeah. that it's it's okay. Hit and miss. Yeah. I guess it's a hit and miss. Yeah. But uh, not for me. Not for yeah, me. this one is... I don't think this is a rip-off of anything. But... Uh, oh, okay. Simple. It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very straightforward. Yeah. Very straightforward. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. Mm. see the back oh okay okay yeah I'll pass I'll, I'll, I'll give a pass on this okay then we Not have bad. the most Moser of all which is this one oh pretty sweet I think oh this is sweet not bad right the branding is the same on the Tobiana I don't mind I don't mind because the focus uh, the contrast is as such that you're, you will be more focused on the dial instead of the uh, to be on. Yeah. But yeah. Look at the case. I would, yeah, pass. I'll give it a pass. Not bad, right? Mm. It's not bad. It's it's coming a long way, man. A lot of these, like, we look at the, the Torbjorn watches from two years ago, right? Yeah. They don't look like this. They all look terrible. Yeah. But they're starting to come up with this stuff. That's what I've been I've been telling you, man. Their innovations are going up tenfold every year. All right, now I have the last set of watches I want to share with you. And All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's okay. Go for it. Ido Fido. Ido Fido uh, is also similar. It's a Tobian watch, but. I, I'm not a big fan of the name, but it looks okay. The, 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 the logo looks good. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the name. It's the same as Pierre Paulina, I guess. 
But the design of the watch is actually quite nice. It's actually quite nice. Hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Balance is nice. Does it look cheesy? Oh, yeah. Just wanted to bring this to attention. Nothing big, lah, right? But it just looks mm, all right. If the, uh, if the logo can be a little bit smaller, I think that'd be great. Yeah. Then you have Reef Tiger Skeleton Watch. I heard of Reef Tiger. Look, I don't think this is a good looking watch. I don't. But At all. I like what they're doing with the skeleton here. If they implement it mm. better with the rest of the watch, I think it could be something. You know, the way they cut it out, mm. it's special. It doesn't look like anything else. Mm. It could be done. All right. Then we have your Shanghai watches. I mean, oh, your, Shanghai. Your, 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 not Shanghai, <clears throat> the Seagull. This is uh, 1963, but uh, it's a different design, you know. A more modern approach. Look at this one. It's not a rip-off of anything. Yeah. And yeah. you feel the Chinese there, but it doesn't feel gaudy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's actually well done. Yeah. Looks nice. I don't mind this logo well for the Seagull. You see this logo? Yeah. That's a Seagull yeah. logo. I don't mind this logo at all. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's very nice. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it comes from, you know. Like like you say, you know, it comes from like a communist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's modern, right? It actually looks modern and nice, yeah. Yeah. I'll go like for the that. black dial, yep. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Okay. Definitely then, pass. Then we have uh <clears throat> Shanghai watches. Yes. I was about to talk to you about this actually. I'm I'm a big fan of this one man. I'm yeah. a big fan of this. Yeah. This is your MBNF uh, kind of a. Uh, if it if it's a rip off or anything, it's it's MBNF lah. Yeah. But the, like, was it the legacy machine? Like, legacy, legacy machine. Legacy machine yeah. yeah. And I'm <coughs> very impressed that they are able to do this. This, they raise the escapement above the dial. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> it's very cool, and it's a dome crystal, so you have. Yeah. I think, like I've been, like I've been saying uh, earlier in this uh, podcast, yeah, they are actually going down to the most minute detail to copy, and it's not easy yeah. to copy something. Like yeah, that. it's yeah. not easy. Yeah, so that means work has actually been put into this. And the thing is, this is not a direct copy either. It's not. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's, not. it's just taking but the idea. You can see the concept. That, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there is effort put into this. And I really like this watch, except for the fact that a lot of these designs, right? Look, they're almost there. They're almost there. Yeah. You see the hands? <coughs> My problem with yeah. this watch is the hands. That's the painted blue. Too. Sorry? It's painted it's blue. It's painted blue. Why, I mean, you, why you gotta do that to me, man? <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> Always uh, that one thing, Seiko, right? My, my Seiko Presage... The uh the Fuyugeshiki. Yeah, yeah. It's painted blue. Yeah, the I don't blue like is it. painted that. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. I hate it. I fucking so, hate it. I I don't think has I don't think of it as a big crime. Yeah, I, but it's to just... me to me what Shanghai is doing here is yeah. a good effort. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's only a matter of time where they catch on. I right? hope more people buy this so that they <clears> continue <throat> working on this to make it yeah. better. But yeah, this is very nice. You then but next... what's up with the what's up with the knob though? The the crown. The crown. Why is the crown shaped like that? Oh uh, yeah, I think it's just yeah, they're coming up with design. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. It's always something. I get about yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like that they're, but, com- they're uh, trying. I, I they're would trying. Give a, I'll give I'll give a pass on this. Uh, I give my respect on this. <laughs> nice. And yeah, and uh, yeah, I think we should we should we should like you no know, respect or disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one, this one for me is a respect line. It's a respect for me, yeah, definitely. It's a respect, respect. I don't. I actually co- really consider buying this one. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the, okay. There was there was one with a. There's another model very similar to this. This one, the you see the the, the two hands that that hold up the escapement here on the bottom. Uh huh. Yeah. From eight o'clock and four o'clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. What there's one. It? There's one model of this one. Looks exactly like this. Except those two things don't come out from there. It comes out from 
10 o'clock and 8 o'clock. And it comes up all the way from the side of the case, like from the side of the dial, not the center. Oh, okay. So I it looks a lot more like a... The MBNF. Yeah. Looks cooler. And they had it in black. So this is blue. This is a blue dial. Uh So imagine blue and black. And then the hands, instead of painted blue, it's, it's PVD black. So it looks good. It looks consistent. It looks quality. I actually considered that a lot, but couldn't find one. For some reason, right. they're, they're quite hard to find. I think they, they discontinued that one also. So it's quite mm-hmm. annoying. Mm-hmm. Now we are down to the last three watches. Okay, right. so... Let's go for it. These two watches are... Uh, okay, this one we've seen before from just now, from the Suges. It's very similar. Uh, it's, uh, it's your... Give. But <laughs> this doesn't Give. offend me as much as uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> The, the 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 logo doesn't the name doesn't offend me as much as suggest uh. suggest suggest <laughs> suggest you know? but the hands are painted blue so and and the the hole they covered it with a fucking white for some reason hey maybe it's loom man it's not loom though loom. How do you even know? even if it's, it is loom there's no loom on the dial you know and it's a dress watch why for what <laughs> no like no some Swiss watches they actually just loom the hands as well you know so I wouldn't. I don't. Know, I don't like I wouldn't it. Dismiss I, don't, it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, I mean, yeah. uh, traditionally, those are the traditional brigade hands. Yeah. So there should be a hole in it. Yeah, exactly. The rest of it <clears> looks <throat> nice, you know, <throat> except for the fucking painted blue hands. That's why I've, I've been telling you, man. There's always always something one thing. Right? Chinese watches. Always one thing. There's always one thing. Yeah. There's always. You uh, know? Disrespect for this one, man. Disrespect. <laughs> definite, definite disrespect. <laughs> okay. Low beanie. This is another brand. They're doing. They have the diamond on the 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 fucking tourbillon again. Oh, they have the uh, epigeon hands. Nice. Yeah, but they have the oh. epigeon design thingy going on, which I like. But I hate the How name. Epi- How I you hate epigeon. The... Epigeon. I just got. John or John? John? I think John. John sounds better. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm not, yeah, I've not yeah. heard anyone call it epigeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Me neither. I think it's John. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Epigeon hands, man. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, the hands are cool. But everything else kind of sucks. Like, the name sucks, the logo sucks, the diamond Actually, on no. the Tobion sucks. It also reminds me of Sarpaneva hands. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sarpaneva, Sarpaneva hands. hands. Yeah. 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 But it's yeah. nice. It's nice. Yeah. But the name, though. Yeah, the name and the diamond on the, uh, the Tobion. Yeah. What's interlaken? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> What's interlaken? What is that? What that They've mean? got to do this, why? man. Well, I, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna tap the, the designer on the shoulder. And like, why did you do that? <laughs> like, why? Why did you do that? Why? Why interlaken? Interlaken. Do you Latin. know what it means? I just want to tap the guy on the shoulder. Like, just hold his shoulder. Like, why? They just gotta do why? this. I just want to ask him. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. So. Okay. Lobini. Next up, we have a brigade. Oh, the, the flower. The, you see the flower logo? They took it from ETA. What? Flower on the logo? The flower, lo, the Lobini. <laughs> the flower. You see the logo? The L? Uh-huh. They took it from ETA. Right, let me just show you ETA. I think they, they took it from ETA. Uh, how do I... Uh, I can't send to. I can't seem to send you the. Uh, it's basically an ETA, like the flower. Right. Anyways, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so this is the last watch I want to show you. Okay. All right. Are you familiar Go. with Go. the watch Brigade Tradition Seven O Five Seven? I think so. I would know. I would know it when I see okay, it. Okay, let me show not you. Really, let me show you. I'm not really an expert on Brigade. <clears throat> have you seen this before? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I have, I have, I have, I have seen this before. Looks really yes, cool. Yes, I right? have. Yeah, I have. Uh, Wingwa was selling this. All right. How much was it going for? <clears throat> uh, uh, sixty seventy k. Sixty seventy k. Not bad for a brigade. Looks yeah. cool, right? 
Yeah. Like the the way they they brought up all the gears to the surface instead <clears> of <throat> the bottom. Yep. Yeah. So guess what? Uh, Chinese people created a copy of this watch. I think I've seen those flying around. It looks amazing. <laughs> wait, wait. The brand name is logo. Or you can no, no. You put your own that? logo. Oh, wait. Oh, that is or nice. Maybe, or maybe it's a Brugge logo. I'm not sure. But I'm hoping you can put your own logo. Nice. How much does it cost? $360, man. Nice. It's 1.2K for not something. Bad. Brigade is selling for 60, 70K. Yeah. And but it's the exact be, same be, thing. You know what I mean, saying? to be real, yeah, I mean, they're selling you for 60, 70K, but you're also paying for the precious metal. They made it in gold. Oh, yeah, fair enough, gold. fair enough. And right. innovation as well, so, though, right? The, the, the fact yeah. that they came up with the design in the first place. Yeah, and the yeah. name Brigade, you know? So, yeah, yeah. I guess, you know, can't really complain. But, but this is really cool. There's a power reserve there, I can see. <coughs> why would they yeah. put it, position it up there? Like, why? I don't know, man. Wait, wait. But I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Okay. Okay, there's one there's one that has it here as well. You see this? What's the model's name again? 7057. Okay, look at the screen. Look at the screen. They have a few types. Oh, okay. They position it there also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I find it a little bit, you know, a little bit out of place. Yeah. <clears throat> I I think this looks really cool, man. I'm actually really considering buying this. <laughs> if you buy it, I'll I'll, I'll like to I'll look to have a look at it. Yeah, it looks cool, man. It looks slightly different. Maybe not. Hmm. But it's nice. It doesn't look slightly different at all. I mean, maybe the finishing, but the uh, position of the the balance wheel and the gears are pretty much spot on. Yeah. Yeah. Check out the bottom of this thing. Oof. You even it's, got the the power reserve there as well. <clears throat> it's a very cool watch, man. That is cool. It's very cool. The black version. But I suggest you. I suggest that you should get the uh, the stainless steel one instead of the. Uh, yeah, I like this one. The, yeah. Yeah, if you get it, I want to have a look at it. <laughs> it's cool, man. Yeah. I, di- I didn't even know about this watch, uh, this this model for Brigade until I... I mean, I've, I think I've seen it before, but I didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. Uh-huh. Because I think a big brand like Brigade doing something like this isn't very impressive. Yeah. I don't know. For, is it impressive to you? I, I, don't, I feel like it's not very impressive for me. They just brought the gears to the surface, though. Right. It looks good, but it's not like oh shit they did that, you know. Yeah. 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 But uh, I don't know. I guess a fake lah. <laughs> Doing the same thing for this one impresses Look, me. If, for I some get, if I could get something like Brigade for a fraction of the price with almost subpar quality, I would do it, man. Yeah, man. I would do it. Like, okay, oh, so here's fun. the thing. I'm not sure if they actually have the Brigade logo on it, you know? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. If they don't, then I really like it. If they do, yeah. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. You know? If they, yeah. if they say you can put your own logo, oh my God, that'd be fucking so cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd rather just it, have it uh, sterile, uh, but it's very cool. One thing I would do, oh, they have screw down, screw down uh, Lux as well. Yeah. Screw locks. I'll change the strap now. Yeah, definitely. To yeah. a grey strap, maybe. Oof, that'd be cool. Yeah. No, 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 no. To a, like a tan brown strap. Tan brown, really? Tan brown. I think it's a go with black. M- any strap you put on it, actually. Mm. Except NATO. La. <laughs> Fuck NATO's. <laughs> NATO's look good on nothing, man. <laughs> Tell that, tell that, tell that to TGV, man. <laughs> you know, NATO strap everything. Uh, you know? Anyways. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's that's all I have, man. It's really, okay, so, 
it's really, really cool that you went down that deep, deep rabbit hole on these Chinese watches. And frankly, I'm really, really surprised of what these Chinese watch manufacturers are capable of. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I never thought that, you know, especially the uh, the 62 mass, uh, you know, sterile dial. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Breguet. The, uh, the, the Pierre, what was that? Pierre Paulin. Pierre Paulin, uh, um, 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 sterile design um, H Moser lookalike watch. Yeah, dude, they are coming up, man. Yeah, man. They are coming up. Yeah, man. Their production is top notch. They they can do anything. They can do anything they can you do want anything. them to. Yeah. They just anything. need to start innovating. They need to start learning what design is and learning what yeah. marketing is. Yes, yes, and they are, they're definitely on the right track. I've been I've been I've been saying this about uh, the Chinese watch industry for years. Like ever since I found out about uh, Parnese, ever since I found out about Seagull, it, all they lack is proper marketing, proper yeah. story. No, you know? and, and and also guts. I don't know, like like uh, yes. guts to innovate, guts to try things, to to take risks. You know, to come up with your own design and and. Celadon is doing a good job. On that. Yeah, exactly. That's why all these all these brands that are doing that, that are that are that are, you know, taking risk to coming up with new designs. Yeah. Innovating. Yeah. My respect go to, goes to them, man. My respect goes to them as well. Yeah. Wholeheartedly. Because yeah. they are, they're just machines. Like, they can just go and yeah. do it, you know. Yeah. If, the only thing that's lacking is just the stories. What the Europeans are so very yeah. good at, you know. If Chinese watches uh, ever get to anywhere, it's these people like, yeah, Benjamin Chi. Or, yeah. or the Atelier Wen people, even yeah. Memorigen people, you know? Yeah. It's these yeah. people that are going to bring them there. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. I, and I think that Chinese watch brands will be, will be the future, you know? Will be the Japanese watch brands of today. Hmm. You know? Oh, what? Look, Seiko started copying as well. I mean, yeah. they are the ones, yeah, although they, they, they are the ones who single-handedly, you know, Brought down the Swiss watch industry, quartz wife, quartz. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's a balance. Prices, you know, you have to write the balance. Prices. You need to, you need to copy a bit, but also innovate. You know, you, yes. know, you write the yes. balance in between. Yeah, they have to. They have to kaizen. You know. Yeah. That's kaizen. They have to just continuously improve and continuously yeah. look for the next big thing. Yeah. And so far, they are on the right track. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if one day Chinese watches would. Probably take over the Swiss. Probably not, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Yeah, you, you, they just need to bring pride to wearing Chinese watches. You know, yes. <laughs> like right now, yeah. I the would thing be, that's missing, the be, biggest thing I'll is missing. I'll be really proud to 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 have a salad on with me. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially oh, the Atelier uh, Wen. The, sorry. Oh, Atelier Wen. Atelier yeah. Wen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like great stuff, man. Yeah, looks good. Great stuff. stuff. Man. Yeah, so I would definitely get into get on this 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 bandwagon of uh, of of praising Chinese watches. I would definitely check out uh, these brands, Atelier Wen and uh, uh, Maison Celadon. Yeah. They're very very interesting. I mean, to me itself, that is what I was talking about. You know, yeah, man. like Chinese pride. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And for those who are who are who are listening and uh, are just starting to get into watches, I would actually suggest not only looking at Swiss or Japanese watches, but also look at Chinese watches as well. Yeah. Because there are some pretty, pretty good stuff here. Yeah. No, no, no snobbery, no hate. Chinese watches are yeah. quite Cause good. If you're worried yeah, about, at, if you're no. worried about the quality, <clears throat> I think what you got to keep in mind is a lot of, most of your, most of, most of your, uh, lower range watches and most of your uh, micro brand watches they're all made in China anyways they just had better marketing to pull you yeah. in <clears throat> the last laugh tattoo it's made in China bro yeah it's made in China design in London made in China yeah Mr. so, so if you find a good design that you There's like some watches made in that London. is Chinese watch give it a try man I, I feel like they you can take a risk on them just make, make do some research and yeah. see. Yeah. 
do some research. Definitely do your homework. Do some research. Read reviews. Uh, and yeah, to just try one yourself. I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt spending thirty or fifty US dollars on 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 a piece, or even hundred and fifty US dollars on a a good Chinese watch. Yeah. Chinese China made watch. Yeah, I I I I would definitely suggest it. But if you know, it all boils down to preference. If you like it, that's fine. If you don't like it, that's fine too. They're not saying that you know you should get Chinese watches, but I wouldn't say just don't district don't don't write them don't, off. Huh? Like yeah. just write them. Don't write them off totally. Yeah. You know, just keep it on your radar. Read about them. Uh, find out about them. Uh, and yeah, just just. Just get to know Chinese watches. Yeah. All in all, because I, I am excited for the future. You know what what they're gonna yeah. bring. I am excited for the future too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited about what they can bring and what they will be, what they will evolve to be. Yeah. So that's what I'm excited for. And Chinese watches, man. Look into them. They are well made pieces <laughs> of like watches that are just put together. But they're put together quite well, and yeah. it lasts, you know? All right, yeah, I so, guess that's the end of the podcast, man. Yeah, it's really, really, uh, it's a really, really interesting podcast. I, I yeah. really enjoyed this one. Yeah. I really enjoyed this one, especially um, this was um, fun. <clears throat> where you talk about the, um, the rabbit hole that you just went into, and you, you showed me all the, the Chinese watch brands that are, that are copying or innovating, or, and, and, you know, like... Um, Atelier went slowly getting there with the designs, right? <laughs> slowly getting there, yeah. yeah. So this is a real, a really, really, I would say, progressive podcast, and 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 it opened my mind to a lot of these uh, Chinese watch brands, which I would normally look past if I was going through AliExpress, but now I'll actually pay extra attention to it. Yeah, yeah. I don't see what they're all about. So thanks, man. This is really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed this episode. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed this Maybe discussion. we'll buy a Chinese watch soon, man, together. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe. Look, I... I you think you're getting a 62 mask, aren't you? Yeah, the bronze. <laughs> because I love the 62 mask. Yeah, yeah. I want to get my hands on one, but it's just... Uh, yeah. The, paying that much for something yeah. that's, you know... If, 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 if I'm not mistaken, movement is almost the same as uh, the, same. the Seiko yeah, Turtle the same. movement. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. 21, 21.6. It's just because it's a reissue of the their first watch. It's that makes us ex- that the story makes it that expensive. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. I am definitely keeping an open mind. Hmm. Cool, man. Definitely keeping an open mind. All right. Yeah. Uh, this was time to talk. I am Jeng Feng. You can follow me um, on the wrist bone uh, on i on Instagram and. You have and Max. I, I'm Max, Respectable. Follow me on Respectable and check out my website, respectable.com. Yeah. You can find me on Instagram. Uh, link down the description below. And yeah, yeah till the next episode, man. I yeah. love this episode so much. If like, you like very, this very episode, if you like this episode, subscribe, click the like button. If you have uh, suggestions for what we should do next or if you want to correct us on anything we said wrong earlier in this podcast... You can email us at time to talk at gmail.com and you can find us also on Instagram time to talk. Time to talk. That's it. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. There you man. go. Till next Til time. Next episode. Happy right. happy Chinese New Year, everybody. Bye bye. Happy Chinese New Year. See ya.